Well, welcome back, everyone. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to be back here with you all. Back in our humble little Oasis Hill Zoo. Yes, it's been quite some time since we've actually kind of popped in here. I think it's been, what, like about a week in between. I hope that's okay with you guys, because the best news of this all is that the Outback Pack is now officially out. I've already started to go in here and add a few decorations. Nothing really too crazy, just a little bit of rock work here and there. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. Uh, probably number one will be getting rid of these guys. I don't know what they're trying to protest. The lemurs? What's wrong with the lemurs? What? What? Tell me, what is going on? They need more space. What do you mean by you need more space? Can you not navigate throughout here? What? What's the issue? You have plenty of room. Your plants could be a little bit better, but it's alright. Uh, yeah, what is... You have plenty of climbing space, buckaroo. What if I just add one of these onto here? And then... If that works out, we will have solved one of our first crises, 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 whatever it is. Uh, I believe we have solved it. And I'm just going to go into my NVIDIA filters right now and get rid of auto depth of field. I really loved using it for the trailer, but uh, we got to get rid of that stuff right now. But anyways, yeah, we do have the Outback items now. So if we go over here and type in Outback, we have a whole new variety of different props. So if we want to pop in here and do a little sign for the kangaroos, maybe swap this one out. Maybe swap that one out. There we go. We have a whole bunch of new kangaroo things in here, and it's going to be super fun just to be able to use these. Uh, so if we pop over here and get rid of all that jazz, you can see that we have so much variety. These are cut out by Za, I believe. Uh, and they are the cut content from the Australia pack. There was a whole big, like, smorgasbord of these that they were actually supposed to bring into Planet Zoo, but they never ended up using them, and we have some really awesome ones at that. But, yeah, we're already gonna start to replace some of the stuff throughout here. We have some, like, kangaroo statues and stuff like that. I think that's gonna be super fun for this area, but that's about it for right there. I'm not sure what we should do next. Uh, we do have the rhinos in here now, and we already have a little baby. Look at him! Or her. What are you? You're a him. Perfect. Just like to make sure. But that is super cute. Look at that little baby! So hopefully we can start to kind of start to breed these guys later down the line. That'll be pretty good to have, but I don't know. I'm very excited with all that stuff. So for today, I do want to figure out what we should do first. Uh, ongoing expenses. It seems like we're getting some refunds. We don't like to see that. Maybe I'll raise the prices soon. I'm not sure if that affects refunds or not, but let's check out everything. We can replace that really quick. But let's mostly see what animals we can get. I don't know what I want. Maybe there's something in here that could tell us. I know if we get one of these, we'll have like $1,000. That would be perfect. And I think I do want to start to expand the zoo. Maybe in this area. Yeah, definitely in this area. So right off the bat, we can't get rid of the saguaro cactuses. So we got to keep that in mind. Now, I'm not sure if there's any laws in terms of removing them, but they do seem to be in quite a little bit of a bad area. So let's see what kinds of smaller animals we can get that may be working out well for us. Uh, I do want to stick with desert and grassland animals. I feel like that'd be good. Pay no mind to the emu over here without a name. That was my fault. Uh, there are penguins, that would be kind of an interesting one, but I feel like that would be a little bit of work to try and include them right over there. Asian small clawed otter, maybe an adorable little addition. There's a whole bunch of other animals too. The cheetah, I think the cheetah might be a very fun one to do. Uh, dingo's pretty good as well. Yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll pick something over here today. But if you guys are watching, please leave recommendations. Just remind me that I told you uh, to leave them. Because I do want to pick out something very fun. Uh, and I'm not sure what that would actually be. It sucks that we can't get modded animals in here, but it's totally fine. It helps us appreciate those that we oftentimes take for granted. Sun Bear would be a kind of fun one, but I think I want to stay away from that. But I'll tell you what. 
I think we can do the Asian Small Clawed Otter. So before even, actually we should probably buy them. Uh, Asian Small Clawed Otter. Let's see what we have in here. I feel like that's not right. Asian Small Clawed Otter. I feel like there should be a lot more, right? Because we're in franchise mode. Are we online? Like, why is there not any, like, conservation credit ones? Let's check American Alligator just so... Okay, so we are online. And I think... Yep, they're coming from other zoos. So, sorry about that. I was just trying to make sure that we didn't somehow mess up our franchise file. But no, we have all of these guys in here. And they will be a nice little batch of otters for us. And I think I can't wait to... Yep, perfect. I can't wait to start to build for these guys. And also, we hit four stars. That is excellent. Actually, I think I have an idea for what I want to do over here. So I think we're going to take us kind of like through a nice organic pathway throughout here. And if I just select everything in here and just deselect our saguaros, I think that should give us an interesting enough layout. So right over there, I'm going to start to build up this terrain a little bit. I have an idea for a habitat. I hope it works out well. Um, we'll certainly see about that. But I'm going to raise it up over here. And hopefully we can get a nice incline. Maybe that's a little bit too jagged. But that's about the height that I want. So what I'm going to do is kind of cancel that up there. And we'll kind of continue that all throughout there. We're going to bury the saguaro under a little bit of sand. But I think it should be fine. And we're just going to expand that a little bit and kind of lead the pathway up here. Now, up here, what I usually like to do uh, is, in order to make bigger plazas, I like to kind of extend this out a little bit. Then have these auto snap to each other, and then from there, I connect it back to the main pathway. What that does is give us a nice, easy plaza that we didn't really have to struggle with at all. And we'll have full advantage to kind of do something pretty funky with this habitat. Now, of course, I do want to add some stuff throughout here as we go later down the line. But right now, the idea is to kind of push this in a little bit more. And once I actually do get into the full building of this habitat, I'm going to have us go back into a speed build. But for the time being, I do want to start it right over here. And then from there... We can connect this up to here. And I'm using the solid barriers this time around. Um, usually I don't really opt for them. But, ooh, that's going to be a little bit of a squeeze. Let's actually... Let's do five. That. That should be fine. Alright, let's lower this again. And I think that should be the right size. Perfect. Alright, so what we're going to do is create these barriers going around here and we're essentially going to line up where we want the underwater viewings to be because obviously we're working with an otter habitat we need to have an underwater viewing so what i'm going to do is just force this to go all the way throughout here and we're going to build off of that and now that should be the habitat itself uh what i should probably do as well is create a nice little pathway going on throughout here for our keepers to actually access. I think we're just going to have it be a nice straight shot for our keepers to kind of come through. And it should settle nice and well. Uh, we will cover that up in just a little bit. But hopefully with that being said, we will be able to add water in here. It seems like we are not able to add water in there. Uh, let me see what I could do about that. We need to lower the terrain a little bit in that case. Not the, not the terrain, but all that jazz. Alright, so over here, what I will probably need to do is create a wall. Not just any wall. A wall that will kind of act as a water catcher, if that kind of makes sense. So we'll have it kind of go like that. And we're going to need to bring this up just a smidge. And I'll tell you what, we'll kind of push this guy down there. It'll be a very special palm tree. Uh, but right here, now that we have this, we should have all the water room in the world. And I think that will give us a nice little basis for this. 
So starting right off the bat, I do want to raise this area just a smidge. Uh, just as a way to help it feel like it's a lot more natural and give the otters just a smidge more land space. Because as it stands right now, it feels like they don't have too much. Uh, so if we kind of go back over here. Okay, cool. So they have that little part right there and they have this big kind of area. So with that big area being said, I do want to copy our tried and true little wall set over here. I really do love this so much. It's such an awesome set. Uh, so I'm just going to cancel all that stuff out right over there. We're going to push that over just a smidge. And I think we'll even switch that out for right around here. Let me see what I can do about this. I do want to switch that out. Not switch it out, but push it out a smidge. And that should be good right there. And then from there, we can rotate it a little bit. Make sure it's nice and even with each other. And there we go. So I know many of you guys are already probably thinking, Leaf, you should probably do something about these barriers. They're kind of sticking out over here. Bear with me for a few seconds while we kind of like make our way to there. Because I have a nice little trick up my sleeve that many of you guys may be wondering where it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of just tuck that in right there. Uh, and what I want to also do is extend these out just a smidge. Um, if I could actually split that from the group and group that all together, I should be able to kind of extend that out right over that beam over there. So we get rid of that unslightly little thing. And what I'll do is start to get the pathway actually all settled because I feel like that would be a more important thing to do is just prioritize the guest view and kind of have them follow that trajectory out towards that area right there. I'm not sure what we'll actually throw over there. Uh, I know in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and this is going to be such like, Leaf, why the hell are you bringing this up right now? But in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, the guests get upset when you have a path that leads to nowhere and they like don't really know what to do with it and that's why i'm kind of making this over here i did use free build to kind of connect that area up over there and please do keep in mind there is a working version of free build on the modding server uh, so i will include that as a link in the description for you guys to join you'll just need to go to pz modding general and see the pinned and you should be able to have that right there now, all that being said, I believe we can actually throw these guys in here. I forget why that red kangaroo is even in our storage right there, but we're just going to throw these guys in. And I realize <laughs> we have this broken up here. Uh, hopefully we can get that all fixed up soon. They're just going to the bathroom. That's awesome. Good for them. Uh, and over here, I think I do want to continue this on throughout here. So what I'll do is create this nice area right over here and what this will do actually what i want to do is make this a little bit easier on myself i'm just gonna have this be in the same building group so that way when we want to connect these up we can simply do both at the same time and it's just even easier like that so all that being said we should probably cover that up in a little bit but I kind of do like this nice naturalistic area around here, especially with the saguaros. I can't wait to like decorate that a little bit more. And we didn't need to move them at all, which is fantastic. I really do. I'm so happy that we weren't, um, we didn't need to do that. That's it. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've done a nice little voiceover. I kind of forgot how to, it seems. Uh, what I want to do throughout here, though, is use just a little bit of mulch and kind of tuck it in a bit more. So what I'm going to do is just continue it on throughout here and it should give us a nice area to kind of put some plants in maybe later down the line and it shouldn't stick out at either end which is going to be pretty good. So that is all nice and watertight now which I think is going to be fantastic and hopefully we can check out our Asian small clod otter traversable area. Now they can escape through over there but all that area is fine so what I want to start working on is a little bit of a viewing gallery so what i want out of here is to use some plaster and that's exactly what we're gonna try to do over here so being online with these uh kind of sections i do want it to be kind of tall and since this is officially out i get to finally play steve Irwin. 
So let me just find my Steve. And that should be the scale of a typical normal human being. Uh, so what I'm going to use in terms of that, I'm just going to separate that from that group. And I do want this to come out a little bit more and bring itself down just a smidge. Maybe even further down. About that height is pretty good. I want it to be enough room for the kids to see over, but enough room to kind of cover that stuff up. And I don't want to save that as a blueprint. I want to save that just like that. Perfect. All right. So what I'm also going to steal from over here is our wall segments. Because I feel like having these every so often will do pretty good in terms of kind of setting up this area just a little bit more. That should be good right there. And I need a way to keep the guests off. So I need glass panels. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, this should work. I want to use the new glass panels. I know we had some issues with them in the past, but they're such beautiful pieces that I really don't want to mess up um, the look of this by using the other glass panels. No, no harm to those panels at all. It's just these have those little details on the edge, which I think really helps it stand out so much more. So we have that going on right there, and that is looking gorgeous. I'm going to deselect Steve right here for one second. And yeah, that is looking mighty fine. And I believe we should even have room for terracotta. So let's look up terracotta and see what we can do with that. Uh, already it's kind of on the same axis that I want it to be on, so that is perfect. But what doesn't work is the fact that it's not really working how I want it to. Isn't that working right? So if I just split that ridge up from the rest of it, and if I rotate it on its side with free build, again, please check out the description for the uh, actual link to the modding server so you guys can use that yourself. I'm actually going to just do that. I'm not sure if I want that up there or not. Actually, I don't. What I do want, however, is to use the Outback Pack because I really haven't done anything like that yet. Uh, so actually, I've been using a lot of the Outback Pack throughout like most of these series. Uh, so it's finally good for you guys to use it too. And I think I really do like that. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, so that makes a nice good fit in there. And I think I want a little bit of it as the molding down here as well. And that is looking pretty good right there. I'm not sure if we should put any, like, beams or anything up there as, like, a way to cap it off. But I'll tell you what, that is the kind of, like, end of how I want that to look. So I'm just going to continue these throughout the build. Kind of following the little blueprint that we made with those uh, barriers. And just continuing these on just so that it really helps it link up a bit more. Looks a little drab on this side, however. But I think that should be okay. It's not like the otters really care how their wall looks. But that is looking pretty good right there. Honestly, I really do like that. That looks very nice. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing right over here. Maybe we could do a little funky thing with like, I don't know, maybe you're able to look into the actual holding for the otters. That might be kind of fun. Uh, we're going to change that to be null right there. And that's going to be fine right there. Uh, what I really do want to do is kind of cancel that off right there. I'm not really sure what I can do right there. Also, we can finally claim that. That is perfect. Have no crime for three months. We can... Certainly try that out, uh, if, if we are able to. Uh, and what I really want to do is use the rock down here to have this area be just a little bit darker than the rest of the kind of sand. Uh, I think that does look a lot better. I really do like the texture on that, like the jagged rock cover. I think it looks super awesome. And we'll even do a little bit of grass up here just to help the area feel a little bit more natural. Give it a little bit more defining characteristics, but hopefully if we click play, we could actually see what their requirements are for this group. Now, of course, they need a little bit more deep water. It needs to be two meters deep. So I think if I kind of get rid of some of that water and push these areas down just a little bit more, we should be able to fulfill that deep water requirement. Uh, maybe if we flatten this out a little bit more, we could have that be like a nice edge. I think that might be a little funky. Uh, and if we kind of flatten that out a little bit, help it feel a little bit more organic, 
I think we'll have something very fun over here. So that is looking pretty good. That's a nice deep area for them to swim in, hopefully. Not just swim, but deep dive in. Uh, because we definitely do want to see that happen with these guys. They need just a little bit more. That is quite saddening. Because I don't like doing it that deep. It's not really too realistic. Uh, but hopefully our otters will be happy nonetheless. Uh, let's smooth that out just a little bit, my friends. And we should be... I didn't even put the water in. Why am I even checking right now? There we go. Water is in. Water is deep. Let's see how much... Perfect. Alright, that is awesome in that case. So they do need a little bit more soil and a little bit less sand. So what I'm going to do is just go over with an overtone of soil. And then just go over with a little bit more grass. And for the rest of the grass, I'm just going to have that be nice and abundant up on that little section right there so let's just say hypothetically of course you are a nice little visitor in the zoo you're checking this area out you can see perfectly fine right over that habitat into the otter exhibit and they seem to be already loving to explore it uh, right off the bat however i do need to get some enrichment and stuff for them so asian small claw and we should be able to get some pretty fun stuff in here for them. Make sure that they are keeping nice and happy throughout here. I'm going to click V so that it kind of goes back down. We'll give them that little bubble machine in there because I think it would just kind of ruin the terrain up here. But we can give them a few different blocks of ice and stuff like that. That should be okay. And I believe we can even include one of like the deep water buoys. So that will be super cute for them to use. Uh, they will also need a water pipe because our little boys may get a little thirsty. So we'll just tuck that in right there. I think Freebuild didn't mess with the terrain right there, so that is awesome for once. So they should have access to that. And yeah, I I really I think they I think they should be okay. Uh, so from here, what I'm gonna do, I am going to lead us into the speed build. Uh, I will see you guys at the end of it, and yeah, we'll see what we can get done. So, see you guys. Alright, so I want to apologize right off the bat for, like, all the different audio qualities. I'm recording this on, like, all different separate days, so it's like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be all over the place, but welcome. We are working on our little otter habitat. I'm super excited about this one. So, in the next episode, which I actually recorded before I record this voiceover i know very crazy uh i kind of go a lot more in depth about my building process so i hope you guys enjoyed that we're going to be building for flamingo sneak peek uh but yeah i essentially go over like a lot of the small stuff that i do throughout here but what i really wanted to do was make an exhibit with a whole lot of different angles where you could view the otters from and yeah i think it turned out pretty well so you could see i'm using the faux rocks over here with plaster on one side because obviously the faux rock would be a lot more expensive to do on both sides, especially if you're working on the side where the water is. You wouldn't want to waste your materials kind of like going throughout that, so we just kind of do like straight plaster edges, and that kind of turns out pretty good in the end. And I also kind of find ways to make sure that the otters don't escape, because that's going to be a huge problem throughout this entire building thing. And another problem that we'll have uh, once we actually do start to build the holding facility for the otters is the fact that they will die. Uh, a lot of otters will die. I think our entire troop will die, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but essentially why that happened will be, well, you'll see in a little bit. I kind of create um, a little bit of a boxed-in area where they get dropped off. And since the when the keepers drop them off, they drop them off like a, a few meters into the exhibit. Uh, they just die instantly. Not instantly, but they can't get out. So they can't really get food, they can't get water, all that stuff. So it kind of sucks, but good thing otters are cheap. Uh, I know so many people in the comments are like, oh, you should care more about your animals. Uh, yeah, this really goes to show that I don't. I apologize. Hopefully I can do that in a little bit. Uh, I think I do it at the end of this video, where I kind of go throughout and do some kind of tidying up work around the zoo trying to make sure that we don't have any incestuous animals breeding or anything like that we gotta make sure that we don't have any of that happens a lot you guys kind of bring it up a lot of the times and i'm like oh god i don't know how to fix this but we fix it nonetheless 
And what you'll see right over here is me working on this facility. This is essentially going to be our water treatment facility because it also links up to the big pond over there. And it also links up to our next flamingo habitat. It links up to the otter habitat. And I think it even links up to the lemur habitats as well, I think, since it's like one water source throughout them. So that is pretty good. Uh, so we'll have that relatively soon. And you can see I'm kind of keeping this nice stucco wall look. And this is actually quite a big building. It turned out a lot bigger than I expected it to be. And when you're looking at the zoo from the top down, it really is super big. Like I, I got a probably figure out a better use for it because that's just one big footprint that we're not really using it for so maybe i could do like a lemur habitat on the side of that just so that the holding space in there isn't all for naught uh that might be an idea that we integrate relatively soon but you could see me working over here trying to make sure that you know we don't have any edges sticking out we don't have any kind of un unslightly things happening and i think it turns out pretty good and we put mulch up there just because i really didn't know what else to put up there uh, i also go throughout with a whole lot of gravel i make sure that we use a lot of this because it really does help to sell the vibe of the area it really just helps out with a lot more drier habitats and a lot more drier zoos because when you do work in a dry environment it costs a lot to water lawns and stuff like that so even though i did say earlier in the series i wanted to make sure that we have a lot of green we're only going to use that for the kind of star areas if that makes sense quote unquote um but for the relatively other areas we got to make sure that we're using like all those gravel things also putting down donation bins as well just make sure that we turn a profit over here but gravel really does help it's very nice and very ecologically uh smart i guess for um a lot more areas where you don't get a lot of rain you can grow a lot more drier plants and stuff like that so that works out pretty good uh, but yeah, that's essentially what I want over there. And I also been changing my graphics, by the way. So uh, recently I've been kind of brought into the light of FXAA instead of, uh, like anti antistrophic anti analyzing, I don't even know what it is. I just know that when I switch it to FXAA, the fur looks a lot better on animals, so that's what I want to do. Also giving the otters just a little bit of climbing, what many people don't know is that otters are actually really good climbers, uh, so I'm including just a smidgen, just an absolute smidgen of climbing enrichment for them. They won't use it in-game, but I like to throw in these little bits of realism wherever I can. And I'm also doing a little bit of a sign over here, very custom sign, uh, nothing really too crazy though. Just just very simple just letting the guests know what habitat this is and also throwing down some more plants and I felt like this area needed more trees too so I think I end up using the impingo trees again just a super awesome plant to use uh, and it's just super awesome just give the area like a lot more shade so I really do love using that piece making our way throughout here too uh i was having some issues with the actual fencing but i kind of fixed that up later down the line there was like some null fences that i forgot to change back but also going through and doing some of the underwater plants as well always important to decorate the underwater too you don't really see it all too often from the top down but when you are in the guest perspective it really does help out a lot just to flesh out those areas and stuff like that really do love to do that uh, and I also throw down some education as well. I don't do it this episode, but later down the line, I do fix those up and make sure that everything is actually educating the guests because we got to get that up. Uh, and I also want to decorate this small area over here. Nothing really too crazy. I want this to be a nice natural area, so I'm integrating a lot more of those red rocks and really displaying those saguaro cacti. Uh, because obviously, as I keep on saying throughout all these episodes, it's illegal to remove them. Uh, I gotta find out who said that. Um, I apologize. I don't really keep track of the comments. I will be changing that going forward. I have like a whole list of ways I want to change the channel going forward. Once I do hit 10k, I do want to reformat a lot of stuff on the channel. Uh, and kind of break free of this kind of like freeform kind of thing. I want to get into a lot more organized stuff, but I do apologize. But still, I wanted to highlight this natural area a lot more because I feel like we need to integrate a lot more of that, especially concerning that we're like a very forward zoo. I want to make sure that we kind of highlight, there are all the dead otters, by the way, <laughs> but I do want to make sure that we do highlight our natural beauty in the area and the park uh, as best as we can. 
because Oasis Hill Zoo is quite beautiful. But I'll tell you what, we are about to exit the speed build, so I will actually take off right now, and I'll see you guys all in the live section. See you guys there. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed the little speed build, so welcome! This is our Asian Small Clawed Otter Habitat. Let me just push this stuff on my desk a little bit. So here we are, it's been a few days since I've actually popped in here. Uh, I really haven't been feeling making videos recently, and with the release of Outback Pack, I've kind of just been like, maybe I should kind of take a little bit of a break from making all these videos. I've worked my, I've worked my butt off just to get all that stuff out. But our little friends are enjoying their nice little habitat, and it's super awesome to see that. So, of course, if you guys notice in the speed build, we did unfortunately lose uh, all of our otters. They all kind of died. So we do have a nice little troop over here just buying a female so these guys can breed. And yeah, that is about it over there. So we have a few different things going on with this habitat. And don't mind me, I just want to get this planted up here so we can find some like tropical plants. Maybe we could get some nice little palms up here or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, we can do something kind of like this up here. Why not? So, uh, as you guys may know, uh, they did unfortunately die. So there was this little part in here. And I think it was like right inside of this wall where they get delivered to. And yeah, you can see right there where the uh, bones are. That's that's pretty great right there. Uh, so you can see that that kind of happened right there. So we're trying to avoid that going forward. And I think what I'm going to need to do is delete some of these pieces. And I think we should be good on that. Just making sure that they won't die again. Uh, but now we have a fresh new otter troop. Hopefully th th their lives weren't in vain. They helped us realize how much they could benefit the otters later down the line. Uh, I had the bubbler in here and the water. Uh, later down the line, I do want to decorate that up a little bit, just so it looks like it is a real backstage. Um, I really want to go in with all the details for this build, uh, th this entire zoo, really. And I do need to do some stuff around here, maybe even st some stuff around here, but I don't know. I just really like it. I like this area, too. I don't know. I just feel like it's nice and open. It just feels super nice just feels like those areas you definitely would have in a zoo like nice big open areas so that came out pretty pretty good seems like our capybaras are inbreeding in fact it seems like we <laughs> oh it seems like we have way too many capybaras so i'll tell you what guys i'm just gonna get rid of a bunch and we'll see oh yeah we oh yeah okay we'll keep the alpha male in fact we'll just kind of get rid of well, pretty much all of them will either sell them off or send them to the wild. That is totally fine. And yeah, we'll send all of those guys to the wild. How many more do we have? Okay, we were able to send all of them out. That's perfect. And it seems like we have a lot more kangaroos too. I do want to get rid of most of the males, and then we can get rid of some females as well. Seems like we have a few pregnant females too, so that would be good. We'll send all these guys out. They can enjoy their lives perfect goodbye good riddance we'll do a little bit of this little maintenance and then i say we can kind of uh end it there but we should get rid of some hyenas too and i think we won't get rid of the alpha female but we can get rid of those guys and then we will rehome home rehome that one over there and give it a nice little end of life care our prairie dogs seem to be doing pretty good uh they don't really seem to last too long though so we gotta kind of figure that stuff out all right we kind of got that one all set it seems like our otters what is wrong with your habitat my friends it says that it's kind of right over there cleanliness okay um i think that may be the bones over there so i think we could try and call a keeper over uh and a vet too i think the vets get rid of the bones but I think that should be it. I also threw a water uh, station in there. Just to make sure that they would be all nice and safe. But it seems like everything's going pretty good. Seems like guests are getting their drinks. I'm not sure if I should put anything over here. In terms of like vending machines or something like that. I know it looks like they're hot. But like you could just walk right over there. To the drink stand. I don't think that's too unrealistic of me to ask. But it seems like everyone is doing pretty good. I'm really happy with this zoo so far. 
but I'll tell you what, I don't want this episode to be too long. We'll end it over here with our otters. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I kind of want to look and see what we could actually work with. And I think I could actually send this kangaroo right over there. And, yeah, I just want to get rid of her from the uh, Trade Center. Now, what animals could we build for next? I can kind of see that we're doing a little bit of an aquatic section over here. I'm not sure if I want to do... Actually, you know what? It's been quite some time. I, I haven't built a flamingo habitat in a while. I say we go for them. And, in fact, that's not really the best flamingo. Why would I even spend money on that? Like, e even though these stats are that good, I'd say that's more worth it than anything else. So I'm just going to get us a nice old flock of flamingos, and then we can kind of play with them from there. And hopefully, if I refresh... Okay. Well, I guess if I really want that many, we could probably get some. But I'll tell you what, guys. I think we will end it right there. We'll kind of make this section right over here. Um, if I could kind of build this out just a smidge... Uh, I do want the flamingos to have their own little backstage throughout here. I feel like that would be super cute to have. Uh, and as long as we kind of push that back there, and I'll actually take the extra mile just for just for us for later, just to add this little gate in here. And once we add that, we should be good in terms of this. I hate how angle snap is a thing for these. In fact, you know what? I think we're going to do a cheeky little thing over here, and we're just going to do that, and hopefully with that being said, we can just kind of connect that right there, and then we should be good. So I'll tell you what, that's going to be the start of our new Flamingo Habitat for next episode. I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys enjoyed this little franchise episode. I'm very excited to get back into the videos with all of you. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. We'll end it with our little otters over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.